Thank you for joining us in this video series where we sit down with financial advisors, accountants, and business service specialists to discuss hot topics and more. Our goal with this video series is to educate and provide resources to help guide you along your financial journey. My name is Joseph Gavazos. I work with the advisory group here at Storen Financial. And I'm Kaylee Creasy, the communication specialist. And if you're on the hunt for impactful content, stay tuned as we introduce today's speaker. Today we have Kieran Sharma. She is one of our financial advisors here at Storen Financial. Kieran, do you want to just tell them a little bit about what you do? Yeah, as a financial advisor here at Storen, my priority is to work with my clients, um, identify their needs, um, help them through their financial journey, mm -hmm. and help them have a great retirement. So Kieran is going to answer a couple of questions about retirement gap analysis today. Kieran, can you first answer what retirement gap analysis is? Um, yeah, um, retirement gap analysis is um, bridging the gap between what you have saved up for your retirement and what you actually are going to need. Um, it does this by calculating the estimated shortage in your anticipated monthly income based on when you want to retire and what kind of lifestyle you want. Mm -hmm. So what it does is it's enabling you to examine your current assets, looking at the guaranteed income when you are going to retire, and compare that to your projected expenses um, to determine if you'll have enough to reach your goals. Mm -hmm. And these goals could be day-to-day -day living expenses, they could be health care costs, mm -hmm. that could be buying a secondary home, or just traveling. So here at Storen um, Financial, once we identify these factors, we work along with you to bridge any gaps that there may be. And Karen, why is retirement gap analysis I mean, so important to plan for? That's a great question, Joseph. So re retirement gap analysis helps you determine when and how you will retire. Especially in the last five years, you'll want to take the remaining time before retirement to decide if you can afford to completely retire. Um, many people are um, not able to just rely on Social Security alone anymore. And even if you know that you're going to take some kind of part-time work during retirement or have a hobby which is going to generate you some revenue, mm -hmm. things can change. Um, and when they do, it's important to know if those things do change, are you going to be able to still continue to live um, a retirement lifestyle that you're wanting to? So Kieran, how would you say that we can best prepare for what we need? Well, after your gap is determined, consider your options mm -hmm. and the timeline that it's going to take to fill this. Um, and some of the options could be maybe an alternative monthly income, mm -hmm. um, more savings or contributions to your retirement plans, or maybe just sitting down with an advisor and looking at your current portfolio and seeing if anything needs to be changed in that um, to get you to your goal. Um, you'll also want to consider what is going to be your social security, mm -hmm. what is going to be your pension, what kind of guaranteed incomes are going to be out there because that is a very good and main factor that somebody needs to know when they're planning for retirement. Um, you'll also want an advisor who specializes in investments as well as taxes um, so they can help you strategize on how you can bridge that gap in a tax efficient way. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, um, if you have to um, increase your monthly income, how is that going to look into your um, how is that going to change your tax situation, right? So having your gap analysis completed by someone personable, caring, mm -hmm. and that is an in retirement planning as well as taxes allows you to see retirement in reality. Um, you have worked very hard, so overall retirement is the time when you actually are getting the fruit for your labor mm -hmm. without restricting um, on what you can do and what you can't do just because you don't have enough income. Karen, uh, thank you so much for answering our questions here today. Thank you for having me. If you're interested in learning more about today's topic, visit our website at storenfinancial.com where you can access our blog and other great resources. And check back frequently as we're always coming out with new content, new educational content to help you along your financial journey.